Hello, this is Chaitanya Maladi working at ENH iSecure Private Limited. During this presentation, we will be discussing on how to grant permissions on an exchange mailbox via SailPoint's Identity IQ. Before we begin, let's take a look at the topics that will be covered as part of this presentation. We will begin by understanding a use case where granting permissions on an exchange mailbox would be required. Then we will identify an approach by which this use case can be achieved. This is followed by a quick discussion on what native rules in Identity IQ are and how they can be configured. Lastly, we will look at the implementation of this use case. This presentation is accompanied with a demo where the implementation can be seen in action. First, let us understand the use case. Consider two users who have accounts on the Active Directory, the employee and the manager of this employee. Each of these users have exchange mailboxes configured and assigned to them. In the scenario where the employee is disabled, the exchange mailbox corresponding to the employee should get attached to the manager's mailbox. Now we will identify an approach to achieve this use case. Identity IQ allows us to modify Active Directory attributes of a user. However, this is not sufficient to change the mailbox permissions on exchange. For this, we will need to use PowerShell scripts. Using PowerShell, we can use exchange commandlets that allow us to change permissions on a mailbox. This raises the question on how we can run partial scripts from Identity IQ. This can be done using native rules. Native rules are scripts that are run on the application host by IQ service. These scripts can be run before or after a provisioning process is performed by Identity IQ. There are three kinds of before scripts, before create, before modify and before delete. Similarly, we have after create, after modify and after delete scripts. The type of script is configured in the native rule. In addition to selecting the rule type, there are five parameters that need to be configured as an attribute map within the rule. Object oriented script. This is a boolean variable that defines whether the script uses object oriented functionality. Disable. This is also a boolean variable which defines if the script is active or inactive. Program. This variable represents the program that will be used by IQ service to run the script on the application host. Extension This variable represents the file extension that will be given to the script. For example, batch scripts have the extension .bat. On the other hand, PowerShell scripts have the extension .ps1 and so on. Timeout this variable defines the time in seconds for which IQ service will run the script, after which the script is aborted. The inputs to the script are provided as environment variables on the host by IQ service. The variables that are available are application, request and result. 
The application and request variables are present both in before and after scripts. However, the result variable is only retrievable from the after scripts. Once the native rule is created and imported to identity IQ, next step is to integrate the rule or script into an application. This is done by adding an entry for native rules in the attribute map of the application XML object. After understanding the usage of native rules, let us come back to the use case that was discussed in the beginning of the presentation. The mailbox permissions will be granted via a PowerShell script which uses these three modules. Utils.dll is a class library provided by IQ service which allows us to create objects of the input variables. The Active Directory module will be used to create user objects for the employee and the manager. The Microsoft Exchange Snap-in has scriptlets that will allow us to change permissions on the mailboxes. This script is packaged as a after modify native rule and imported into identity IQ. On this slide, we can see the flow of the script. First, the request object is retrieved, which is available as an input variable. The script continues only if the disable operation was performed. The identity whose account was disabled is retrieved and checked whether it has a manager or not. If the identity has a manager, the mailbox of the dis disabled identity is attached to the manager's mailbox. Otherwise, the mailbox is attached to the administrator's mailbox. Let us now summarize the use case. Identity IQ is required to manage the permissions on an exchange mailbox where IQ service is installed. For this, a native rule of the type after modify is configured on Identity IQ. This rule contains a PowerShell script to perform the functionality of granting mailbox permissions. This is sent to the IQ service via Active Directory connector. IQ service then runs the PowerShell script on the application host, hence achieving the use case. Please follow us on our social media for more technical content. Thank you.